Hello and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a makeup collection and storage video. This is going to be an update. I've actually done this video several times on my channel in the last several years, but I thought I would update it. A few people lately have actually asked me about my makeup collection storage. Um, it is the same storage that I had at my last update, but I kind of rearranged some of the drawers and the top. I do have the Linman tabletop and the Ikea 5 drawers. A lot of people have those, but honestly, I like them and they do work well for me. You've probably seen a lot of my makeup drawers in my Shop My Stash videos. I will link that playlist in the description box if you do want to see that. I have a lot of ranking videos, so if you want to see more details about my collection, like my blush, my palettes, highlighters, all of that, you can check that playlist out as well. I do want to do an updated palette collection, so stay tuned, that probably will be happening hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk you through how I have everything organized, and yeah, so let's just get into it. Alrighty, here is my vanity, and I do have the generic IKEA Linman tabletop with the five drawers. But honestly, it is very functional and I've had it for four years. It has held up. I've moved with these drawers and it has held up. So I do find it functional. The only thing I don't like is that the drawers don't pull out all the way. But other than that, I have really enjoyed it and I do think that it is a nice kind of vanity setup. I'll start with what's on the tabletop and then I'll kind of go through their drawers. If you do want detailed videos, I have a ranking videos on my eyeshadow palettes, blush, highlighters, bronzers, all of that. So my ranking makeup playlist will be in the description box and I do also plan on doing an updated eyeshadow palette collection this month. So hopefully within a couple of weeks. I use Q-tips pretty regularly to like clean up makeup mistakes. So that's why those are sitting here. And then these are eyeshadow palettes that I'm currently using. Like this is the Dose of Colors palette. This is in my Using My Eyeshadows Project Pan. And then I put my Pan That palette right here so that I know that I need to use it. So this just sits right there. This little plastic container here, um, setting sprays up there, primers, foundation, my liquid highlighter in here, more primer, contour stick, things like that. This is the concealer drawer, so all of that is concealer. I have ranked my concealers as well. This bottom drawer is very simple, essential products like mascara, eye primer, eyelash curler, brow products, and yeah. My makeup mirror is from Target and is by Revlon, and it just kind of lights up like that. I've had this thing for, I think, six years, and it still works great. This is the brushes I'm currently using. I do have other brushes in a drawer that I kind of keep because sometimes I change them out depending on the formulas I'm using. I do like to change out my brushes. I probably have about three times as many as what's in here, but these are the ones I'm currently using. And then this is my beauty sponge. I keep it on this little tiny plate. Alrighty, we are back on the left hand side and we're going to go through the drawers. Um, the first drawer is face powders. These are the ones I'm not currently using and then also sharpeners, face wipes in case I need that, my sponge tip applicators which are crucial for me. Then the next drawer, this is all lip products. So we have lip glosses and lipsticks and then lip liners here. All right, then I'll just show you what's in the last three drawers over here. We have bronzers and contour products. Then we have blushes. The drawer underneath that is highlighters. And then the bottom drawer is some eyeshadow palettes that did not fit on the other side where most of the other eyeshadow palettes are. On to the other side. The first drawer is where I keep kind of everyday stuff that I'm using, such as my under eye powder, and then a lot of different things that are in project pans, the blush that I'm panning, um, more brow products, just cause I don't have that many. And yeah, so this is kind of everyday stuff and then some project pan items. This side, are extra primers and foundations that I'm not currently using. Sometimes I do put them over there, but I felt like it was getting a little messy, so I just placed them in this little extra spot. This next drawer is eyeshadow palettes that are 
currently either in my shop my stash or different project pans soft glam this is in the roulette pan collab i'm trying to hit pan on that this palette is in my pie project pan i'm trying to hit pan on that one and then this is my newest eyeshadow palette so it's just sitting here because i want to use it this is the elf retro paradise i've only used this once so far but actually i was surprisingly impressed um this huda palette is in my shop my stash so yeah this is eyeshadow palettes that i'm either trying to hit pan on or just shopping my stash for as i mentioned the rest of these drawers are all eyeshadow palettes and again i do plan on doing an update video for that this drawer is um, magnetic palettes which are full of mostly single eyeshadows but some deep potted as well then we have Juvia's Place, BH Cosmetics. These are kind of these larger palettes that are a little bit more difficult to store. Also this um, Bailey Sarian palette because that's the same size as the Juvia's, which is why they're in this drawer together. This drawer, again, more eyeshadow palettes. Got some Urban Decay in there, Too Faced, Anastasia, and then over here are some smaller palettes. Alrighty, and the last drawer, again, more eyeshadow palettes. And here we have Zoeva. These are kind of grouped more by size and a little bit by brand. Colored Rain, Queen of Hearts, one of my personal favorites. Um, this is one that I got on Black Friday, the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Actually really enjoying this, quite beautiful. Um, my Milani palettes and then over on this side are also some smaller palettes wet and wild comfort zone palettes the smashbox ones these are this is the punked and then I also have the ablaze so yeah these are mostly grouped by size and brand just because I find it easier that way. Alrighty, that is it for my makeup collection and storage. I do find this very useful. I personally like the setup. I like having a larger tabletop also when I am getting ready. I do find it easier. In the past, I had a much smaller vanity and it was a bit clumsy getting ready. So it's just easier to kind of pull things out and have some space to work with. I will say the white does get dirty very easily, so I do feel like I have to wipe it down pretty much every week. Otherwise, the makeup and powder definitely builds up, but overall, I really do like it. I do have a few perfumes back there, and some of my other perfumes are um, on a table behind me. And also, the chair that I sit in is the same chair that you see me sitting in when I'm filming, which is from Home Goods, by the way. And yeah, so that is it. Check out those videos if you do want to see more, like my ranking makeup videos um, and some collection videos. And also I'm thinking about updating my perfume collection as well this month. Definitely stay tuned for the updated eyeshadow palette collection. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.